The Akara Vibration Sensor is primarily marketed as a security device by the company, able to detect when glass has been broken in your home and set off your smart security alarm. However, in this video, I'm going to argue that this small device is a valuable addition to any smart home, not just from a security point of view, but also how it can be used in various other ways. My name is Steven, and welcome to Hey Techie. Hey Techie is a YouTube channel dedicated to the Apple smart home, where we look at HomeKit, Siri Shortcut, and Matter-enabled devices, and examine how they can enhance your smart home experience and make your life a little bit easier. If that sounds like the kind of content that you're interested in, please make sure to hit that subscribe button now so you don't miss out on our future videos. So, jumping straight into it then, the Akara Vibration Sensor is a small battery-powered device that fundamentally detects vibration movement. However, it does more than just detect vibration, as it also has a drop sensor and a tilt sensor inside it too. As a result, it's designed to be attached to doors, windows, or any other object that you want to monitor for movement. When it detects vibration of movement, you can then get notifications directly to your smartphone, alerting you to potential intruders or unexpected activity, or indeed, you can trigger scenes and routines through HomeKit. So this makes for quite a versatile little device. When you open the box inside, you'll find the sensor itself and some Ikara paperwork. The setup procedure is very simple. Just press and hold the little button on the top for a couple of seconds while searching using your Ikara hub, which you will need if you want to use this. Once the device is set up, you'll be able to easily create custom automations for it using the if this then that format. For example here, you can choose between drop, tilt and vibration detection, and then choose a series of different options as to what you want to happen next. For example, push notifications that go directly to your iPhone. Akara have made it really easy to customise these notifications, as there is a text box that allows you to customise them precisely to specific automations and routines, which is fantastic to have built in. Right then, so this is the device, how does it function? Well, all in all, I would say that I've had a very good experience with this device over the last few months that we've been using it. It is very versatile and for the most part, very reliable. The one thing that I would mention is, is that sometimes the sensor can be a little inconsistent. For example, sometimes whilst a small vibration might be enough to be detected by the sensor, other times it might miss it completely. And that is a little bit of a challenge when it comes to assessing how useful a sensor like this is. Really, reliability needs to be absolutely front and centre, and I cannot say that it is absolutely. Having said that, the issue here is clearly the sensitivity and not the reliability of the device. Where, in instances where I have used this device, where there is always quite a substantial amount of tilt or vibration, it has worked absolutely reliably. So, bear that in mind if you are thinking about picking one of these up. Therefore, the criteria for the ideas that I'm about to feature in this video is they must have worked reliably for me in my testing and experiences. So, let's jump into my top ways that you could use this vibration sensor in your home. My favourite way to use this device is actually on the letterbox on the front of the house. Whenever the postman or woman puts mail through the letterbox, it will tilt the letterbox on the inside, so that will send a ping notification to make sure that I know that the mail has arrived. Another way in which I've experimented with this device is on the washing machine and dryer. The placement is absolutely essential for making this one work, but once you've found the sweet spot, you will be able to mount the vibration sensor on the front of your device, and therefore it will pick up when the vibration stops. Now, it's important to note that Akara have not built the absence of vibration into their smart app. However, you can trigger this automation through HomeKit directly. And if you are picking one of these up, I would really recommend that you look at other third-party apps, including the Eve Home app, to see how your automation experience can be improved overall. A third example of this is to mount the vibration sensor 
on your fridge or a drawer where you keep your important documents like passports or other such things. These places are particularly important and you'll want to know who is going in them and when, if it's the fridge to make sure that you're keeping to your New Year's resolutions or indeed to make sure that your drawers are still secure and nobody has unexpectedly taken anything out of them. In particular, I think parents could really benefit from using this device for those reasons. Another of my favourite ways to utilise this vibration sensor is mounting it to my office chair. This way, when I sit on the chair during the business day, the lights in the studio here turn to more professional colours, yet during the evenings they will set to the pink and purple theme that I like to have on when I'm watching some TV or playing the Xbox. Having this time differential within the same automation is a really useful way to make the best use of this vibration sensor and make it a seamless part of my smart home experience. But what about if you don't necessarily want to mount it to something and use the vibration sensor like this? Well, I've also been experimenting using the vibration sensor as a switch. Now, quite simply, you can have the device sitting on your desk and then double tapping the vibration sensor effectively allows it to function as a smart switch, which is pretty handy if you don't happen to have one already and one of these just so happens to be lying in the drawer with nothing to do. As a result, you could reasonably use this as a smart switch as well, which adds a whole other level of functionality to this vibration sensor, which you might not think of if you just looked at the title of the device. Is it the most practical? Maybe not, but it's certainly a benefit of having a very flexible smart home that can adjust to suit your needs. So they are my top ideas for how to use the Akara vibration sensor and how I've been personally utilizing them over the last couple of months. But I would absolutely love to know what you have been using yours for, so please let me know down in the comments below. I think this is a really versatile little device and with a little bit of thought, it could go a long way in terms of making your smart home more dynamic and provide yet another way to make your automations absolutely seamless. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please leave a like and don't forget to go and check out heytechie.co.uk for some more Heytechy content during the week where we upload every Wednesday and Saturday. I have some big news coming on the channel next week, so make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on what that is exactly, and I will see you next time. Until next time then, I've been Steven, for Hey Techie.